Okay, so I got a couple things I might work on today while I kind of wait for the day to warm up and the sun to come up. One is this banjo neck for Mad Dog Bobby. I got my I got my pegs in place here, and I made a banjo shelf and I've roughed it out. I put a little wood uh, putty in around the pegs. I'm going to grind these mounting pegs off. I might grind this spot here down. Sometimes what I do on the fifth string is I'll grind that down flat so I can get my fifth string peg mounted into that and then I'll put my little fifth string nut right here and then kind of clean this all up and then I'll have that ready to mount onto the can. And I'm going to take this out on the table grinder and I'm going to grind this down, this shelf down here, try to get the fifth string mounted. And uh, then I may get it, go ahead and mount it to the can and then uh, Maybe by then the sun will come out. We actually had a little snow on the ground this morning out there, and it was chilly. And I didn't really, I didn't really long to be out amongst the cold. I'm really pretty sick of winter, so I thought I'd give that a little time to settle down before I head out there. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'll mess around with these these things here for now. Alright, I'm going to uh, grill this peg out now. Uh, this fist string peg was going to go right here and I'm going to need a hole drilled right there that that'll fit into. Uh, let's see what we've got in the drill press here. I usually use a, I usually keep an old piece of uh, leather around here somewhere that I can throw on that. See it. But one of these quilts would do. Keep an old piece of leather to throw on that so I won't mess up the neck. I'm gonna do this kind of work. And actually that drill bit that's in there, well that's pretty dang close to what I need right there. Pretty dang close right there. Generally what I'd like to do is drill my hole a little smaller than it needs to be just so the end goes in there and then I got this little tool it's called a, a reamer and it's basically made for banjo peg and I put that in there and I get a wrench put on the far end of that and I just turn that and it kind of reams that hole out because you notice this peg is angled it's not straight it's kind of angled and it actually you don't glue this in you just press it in once you get it where you want it to go you just press it in there and if it's right it'll stay so I'll get my reamer into action here we'll do some of that I'll let you watch <laughs> 